All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of FM21 and our Project Black Sea series. And we are about to bring another season to its end, my friends. But if you've missed last episode, it's linked above for you right now. Make sure you go check that one out before moving on into this one. Uh, today, all I'm going to be doing is getting you caught up with the games that I've played between last episode and this one. There's quite a lot of them. Uh, then uh, we're going to play uh, a big game, a big, uh, a big game in today's episode to kind of finish it off. And then we'll do a very quick season roundup basically uh, so that you can see how the season uh, panned out and then I guess we'll have a little chat about next season and then in a few days time or a couple of days time whatever it is we'll start that brand new season uh, so yeah let's get on with it my friends let's get into this one Okay, my friends, so if you're just sticking with me and you didn't see last episode, uh, we played a couple of games at the end of the preliminary phase and uh, we tied up the uh, championship basically already. And so I decided to take it upon myself to play um, the championship phase um, and uh, also play those semi finals. We did get through the semi finals as expected. So today's episode, we're going to finish once again with a final of the Cup of Nova We are very dominant in the domestic divisions. I understand for some people it might be a little bit boring because, you know, we don't have much competition at domestic level, but this series isn't really about the domestic. This is about trying to take a team from a country that uh, hasn't won the Champions League before and winning it with them. Uh, and essentially along the way, improving the infrastructure in that country and so on and so on. Because uh, it's basically what you need to do to be able to sign the players to be able to compete in the Champions League. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we did that. So the championship phase, Levski Sofia, 1-1 one, one draw. Um, they've been a bit of a fall on our side this season, does have to be said. Uh, you'll see that uh, Totes got us off to a really good start. They pulled one back, and that was how it finished, basically. It was a pretty lifeless game. Uh, Botev, I don't know why I've done that. Uh, Botev Vraka in the first leg of the semi-final was up next. A really, really convincing 3-1 win. Uh, you will see they went 1-0 to the good, though. Uh, it took us till the 64th minute to uh, break the deadlock. Uh, clicking with a goal, Rusinov uh, with one, and then Iradi from the penalty spot. And uh, yeah, really, really good stuff uh, from the lads in the game. Then we came up against... Um Ludogretz, uh, once again, a 3-0 win in this one. Really convincing 3-0 win. Yankov with a goal and Kostov with a brace. Uh, Botev Raka's second leg. It was a 3-1 win again. Uh, so 6-2 on aggregate we go through into the final. Uh, you'll see that uh, Damianov, Rusinov and uh, Iradi with the goals for us. They did grab themselves one in the 83rd minute. Uh, but uh, that was all that was going to be. And then uh, we came up against Botev Plovdiv, who the team were actually going to be playing in the final um, in the league. We beat them by two goals to one. Fristov, OG and uh, Atopazov winner um, basically got the job done for us. And then after that, we played CSKA Sofia. 2-1 win in the game. Uh, and you'll see that uh, it was 1-0 um, through clicking. Then So pulled one back 80 seconds minute but uh, a few minutes later Kostov with the winner absolutely beautiful and uh, the form this season has been uh, unbelievable really the only place we've tasted defeat is in the Champions League and I think that just shows you how dominant we've been um, in in uh, in the domestic uh, leagues I will take you over to the league table so you can see what's going on because we're not really going to be looking at this too much uh, I have got one more game to play in the league but I'll play that off cam and then we'll talk about this season at the end. Uh, you will see Kostov is just two goals off being top of the goal-scoring charts. He's had a very, very good debut season for the football club. Absolutely dominating the average ratings, which is no surprise. Lovely to see Zhivkov up here with a 7.3, considering that... Um, Zhivkov uh, hasn't really played too much football this season. Topazov with uh, 13 assists as well. He's, he's tied with a, with a couple of players. Kostov's up there for man of the match. He's 16 clean seats for Petrov. Uh, Malinov obviously with a record that we don't want to be talking about. But uh, before we get into the final, I just want to show you how it all uh, basically uh, got to the point that it has. It's been a relatively easy run to the final this year. It does have to be said. Uh, a 2-1 against Strumskar. A 6-1 against it's, uh, Bero was a difficult one. They took us to extra time, but then two 3 1 wins in the semi final. And uh, it's very, very good reading, isn't it, ladies and gents? And uh, it really, really kind of sets this tie up nicely. So I guess 
Without further ado, we should just get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'll show you the team that I'm going to go with. We're at full strength, and uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, there's going to be big changes in the summer. I'm going to throw that out there now. We've actually got a bid in at the moment for Dmitriov. Um, a few players want to leave the club. They want a new challenge. I think there's going to be some big changes in the summer. Um, but... Um, but uh, I, I'm confident that the team is going in the right direction, though, so uh, not too not, not 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 too troubled by it, basically. But we we are going to go with Petrov in goal, Marjanovic and Tassev are going to play full back. Prasado is going to partner Malinov in the centre back positions. Yankov and Pozgai are going to play centre midfield. We're going to go Damianov down the left, Topazov on the right, and Gagliardi uh, in the cam position. Kostov is of course going to play striker. I'm looking at that, um, and yes, clicking. Uh, uh, where is he clicking? I'm not playing in the final. I'm going to give Damianov, uh, give, give Damianov the nod. And uh, Lesko is injured, so that's why he isn't involved either. Not, no problems with clicking. He's just cup football. I like to give other people a chance. So here we go, my friends. It's time for another cup final. Um, yeah, we've played in a few of these, haven't we now? Um, and uh, I know it's getting a bit silly. It's getting a bit boring, isn't it? But... Uh, I'm open for I'm open for good things. I really am. I'm open for good things in this final. Um, I, I messed about with the bench. I'm going to be honest. Since uh, I since I confirmed the team, I did mess about with the bench a little bit. Um, wanted to make sure that I had all the right players on there. Um, but the starting lineup is as uh, as it was. Uh, but here we go. First chance of the game. Uh, Marjanovic now on the ball. That's a great ball over the top to Topazov. Oh, what a save that is from the goalkeeper. Topazov has been very, very good this year. He really has. Considering the debacle we had earlier on in the season where I was on the verge of leaving Latex because they were going to sell the player, um, I, um, I've been very happy with the season that he's put in. Uh, this year this is going to be a hard game i'm just gonna throw it there because botev have been very very good this league season um I've, I've, I've got their number i've had their number this this year i've been very good against them but they've had a very very good season so i don't think this is going to be easy and as you can see from the stats they're on top of the game um a lot more shots and a lot more chances created we'll just try and get something out of the boys here um but here we're going to face a free kick now ball in well headed out good defending from us um, can we win the ball back again? Oh, I thought Gagliardi was going to be away there. Not to be. Um, and Botev are going to have a chance. And they're in. And that's a really good save from Petrov. Strong hand to beat it around the corner. Uh, but now we're going to face a corner. Ball coming in. And it's well defended again. We are very, very good at the back. We're solid. Crisado, this is probably one of the first chances you're really getting to see him, I believe. Um, I know he was I know he was part of the club um, uh, last episode, but that's a great ball over the top. And Kostov's in. And Kostov usually scores from there, but uh, it's not to be this time. Yeah, I, I know he might have been part of it last episode, but I'm not sure if he was. But the trouble is with defenders, you don't really take too much notice of them when you're watching the games because you, you're concentrating on the team, that the, the, the players in the team that are going to score the goals. So... Um, yeah, a couple of yellow cards picked up. That's something I really need to nip in the bud. We've been picking up a lot of cards this season. Um, um, but I don't like using the stay on feet instruction because then I don't feel like you actually uh, try to win the ball. And Damianov, that's really good from him to get in and nick the ball. And now he's going, oh, he went down a dark alley. But this is going to be a penalty. And Topazov has been taking them when Iradi has not been involved this year. And he's been pretty good from the spot. But can he put this away? Yes, he can. And Topazov's 13th goal of the season puts us 1-0 in the lead in the cup final. And it is absolutely ramo in this cup final. There are bodies everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Angelov's picked up a knock for Botev. Angelov's a player I am keeping an eye on. I might I might bring Angelov in this summer if we get enough money. Oh, Jesus, two injuries. Gagliardi and Malinov uh, knocks. Uh, that time's, the time was at 53 minutes. That suggests that's a pretty bad injury to uh, Gagliardi. But let's, uh, let's tell the boys... To uh, carry on, get back out there, Malinov. I'm going to make this change. Andonov's going to come on. I really like Andonov. I think he's a he's a he's a he's a he's a top notch uh, player that we can bring in for him. And uh, we've had to make two changes before half time, so it's a little bit concerning. That we've only got one more. 
Um, I'm going to just do a few instructions to make sure that uh, they can't get in behind. Just because, as I've already said, Bosev are a good team. Um, but yeah, it seems weird that it said 53 minutes a, a little while ago, but now it's 52. But it's just, it must have been so much time added on. Let's hope that's a really good ball. Into Kostov. He's in. Can he score? No, he never looked confident, did he? He, he never looked confident. Uh, he slowed down. He, he's a very quick player, but he decided to slow down for whatever reason. That that short corner's gone wrong. I wish the uh, I wish the match engine had the intelligence to, to see that if a player's there, go into the box rather than go short. I like the short corner routine, but obviously just... I wish I had the intelligence to see that there's a player there, and so clearly nothing's going to come of that um i am going to just stop talking i got a cup of tea i went out last night and i'm feeling a little hungover i'm going to be honest went out for a bit of dinner with the wife maybe celebrating this cup final win a little bit early but uh but <laughs> yes yeah, sugary cup of tea should sort it out anyway here we go Poz guy into ivanov now and oh, ivanov's gone nowhere Ivanov's one I think we're going to have to look to move on eventually. Whether it be this season or not, I'm not sure. But I don't think he's going to be here much longer. Um, they're in. It's a good ball. Oh, we can't win the header. Oh, we don't win the second ball. And that was a very, very good chance carved out by Botev. Uh, it's been a really even cup final. Oh, that's a brilliant corner. And Kostov, it's just not his day in front of goal, unfortunately. It's just not his day. Um... But yeah, this has been a really even cup final. They're on top of possession now. That was that was our our one to win. Kostov's coming off. Zhivkov on. We'll give him 10 minutes. I know it's not a lot of time for uh, Zhivkov to, to do damage, but uh, Kostov just weren't having a very good day at the office. So I think that change makes sense. Good ball out wide here into Topazov, who's now going to drive forward. He had all the time in the world. Uh, that's. I thought that was going to go for a throw-in. How bad was that shot? Um, not good at all. They don't look like they're going to get that chance they need. As much as it's been an even cup final, we've controlled it to some extent, haven't we? And there's two minutes added on, and I think it's going to be a third or a fourth cup in a row. Get in there. My, my celebrations are so reserved now because I'm just used to winning. <sighs> We need to win something else. We need to win something big now on the European stage. Um, but we pass the trophy and we push it over the head and the crowd goes wild. Well, the Botev fans won't. Although it's nice to see them clapping, you know, showing some appreciation for a job well done. But yeah, it's, an, it's another cup win, ladies and gentlemen. And you can't complain about that. You can't. You can never complain about another cup win. It's... Uh, it's good times. It's good times at the football club. I'm uh, absolutely loving it at Latex. I really, really am. And so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another cup win. It wasn't the most entertaining of finals. It does have to be said, doesn't it? I think that's four times in a row now for Latex, potentially, if memory serves me correct. Or it might be three times. I'm not sure. I know this says three, but sometimes it doesn't update it straight away. So that's why I was questioning it but uh, i think it actually might be three times in a row once again latex have done the treble we've won the league the su uh, the super cup and uh, the league cup basically so yeah very good uh, reading gagliardi's picked up a knock that's unfortunate he's going to miss uh, the last game of the season a little bit of uh, prize money malinov he's picked up a knock as well yeah there we go that confirms it three times in a row for latex uh, seven times winners overall though and uh, yeah it's a really good job actually that we're doing yeah you know domestically um we're, we're absolutely smashing it uh, and i'm and i'm happy basically to report that uh latex board are very very happy uh with um with this uh cup win which i'm happy that they're happy basically if that makes any sense um the uh club form they reckon uh, posga should be in for a little nod at international and i, I totally agree he's had a very good season uh so basically what i've got to do now gang is i've got a game against locomotive plovdiv to play in the league i'm gonna go away play that now and we'll be back and we'll do the season roundup and so here we go my friends we're gonna do the uh latex season roundup now uh, obviously i don't use the cam for this because i'd like you to be able to see all of the information on the screen once again as you can see look those are the trophies we've won this season uh an incredible job basically Basically, once again here at Latex um, and uh, we've got two years left on our contract I was just taking a look at that before uh, I jumped into this I think it's two two years I think it said so 
I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm just going to carry on at LaTeX, see the contract out, and then see what jobs are available or what. But uh, I don't know. I, think, I feel like we need a drastic change this summer uh, for the club to really push on and go anywhere. But this is the new arrival. This is kind of how this stuff panned out. Uh, you'll see that Crosado did come in in that January. You guys have not really seen too much of Crosado because he came in at a point where... The season was pretty much over. But he's been very, very good for the money that we paid for him. 12 appearances, a goal and assist, and just solid at the back. Like, really, really tightened us up and has formed a really good partnership with Malinov already. Uh, clicking came in, obviously, this summer as well. We didn't pay 4.7 million from him up front, and same for Casado. Like, remember, this just gives you the fee that you can eventually pay. Um... But uh, he's had a really good season uh, on the left-hand side. 28 games, 7 goals, 9 assists. Very good stuff. Kostov, he's got to be the pick of the bunch for me. I genuinely think he's had an unreal season. 35 games played, 26 goals and 7 assists. Really good. Uh, Magnuson was another one that came in. He's played a few games for us. He kind of had to he had to uh, get it get it done. The board, see these board opinions. I'm going to take no notice of these anymore because for me, if I'm paying the money for a player, they develop okay and, and, the, and they put in the shift. I, I, I'm happy with it. That's kind of how I feel now. Uh, Delessandro has had an unreal season uh, as well. His average rating might not say so, but I think he's been very, very good. Um, and I've sort of been playing him out of position. I think he's actually more of a deep-lying uh, playmaker. So I think from next season, I think we've got to get him in the team because he is... Just such a good talent. Uh, Jakob, I think, has has the ability to just go on and be unreal as well. He was another free uh, signing. Um, we've got the minimum free release clause in there that I want to try and get out this summer. And then Bogdan Stratton's been all right as well. Uh, lots of his uh, stuff is off the bench. And then you'll see there were a couple of other youngsters that we bought to the football club that uh, didn't get any game time. Transfers out. Obviously, we did sell a bunch of players, loan out players and whatnot. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the... The, the signings this season have been very, very good. Uh, season to remember once again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we finished the season um, undefeated. Um, obviously, this only shows you the preliminary phase, which I find really frustrating. I wish it showed you the whole thing. Um, but, yeah, we have finished the season um, undefeated. I think it's three draws uh, that we had. So, whatever wins it is, I, I can't do the math off the top of my head right now. Um First position, obviously, the home attendance is up once again. We're, we're filling it 73% now, which is pretty good. Radislav crossed up with 20 goals this season, uh, which is top-notch for us. Champions League didn't go really as we wanted it to go. We got that one win, didn't we, against Leipzig, which was amazing. It's our first win uh, in the Champions League since we've been playing in it. And then the Cupa Nobagere, as we know, we dominated that and the Super Copa. Uh, we had, it was an unbelievable game. So, yeah, we've had a really, really good time of it this season. Really, really enjoyed it once again. Uh, moments uh, to remember. The 6-1 against Maritza in the Cup was obviously the biggest win. Uh, match to remember was the 4-0 against Zagreb, apparently. I would have said the uh, the game against Leipzig in the group stages was a bit more memorable than that. Um, goal of the season came in this game uh, as D'Alessandro executed a 23-yard finish. Um, the finances are looking very, very good uh, once again. Uh, the broadcast revenue, for whatever reason, the last couple of years has been down, which just tells me that maybe the sponsors are not there or the coefficient of the league has uh, dropped off, which is a bit frustrating, does have to be said. It does mean as well, it, it could be that we're not on the telly that much as well because uh, obviously you get TV revenue and stuff like that. Sponsorship is up, that's good, and all the other bits and bobs. But... Uh, Competition prize money is at a ridiculous level now because we're qualifying for the Champions League. But the the actual bank looks good. Topes is the top seller for the shirts. Paul's guy, Gagliardi, cost off and clicking. I'm not surprised at any of those at all. How are you lined up? Um, and I would I would argue, apart from Yankov, that's the team that played the most of the season because obviously um, Crosado came in late. Um, that's probably our best team on paper. But I would take. Delisandro in and put him in place of Yankov and I think that eventually Lesko will be in there in place of uh, Pozgai as well but I do think that's probably been our strongest team this year all of them had an over a 7 average rating which is amazing to see and then the accolades ladies and gentlemen our one manager of the season uh, last year 
Um, so I think it was manager of the season I won last year, uh, which was pretty good. Obviously, the, uh, the the awards and that, they happen at the end of the season, but usually it's after this point, and I don't go on uh, long enough to show you guys uh, the things that I win. Um, Topazov was the fans player of the year this year. Uh, he also got young player of the season. He's at the top year, hasn't he? Radislav Kostov got sign of the season. No surprise that goal of the season goes to Joel Palisandro. Uh, Radislav Kostov was the top goal scorer with 26 in all competitions. Topazov uh, got 17 assists this year. Bloody hell, that's amazing. Um, Radislav Kostov with nine man of the matches. Ruslan Andonov with 7.3 average rating. Very good for the 20 year old. And uh, Gianni Pozgai had the best pass rating this year. Um, loads of records have been broken this season. Topes has broke the assist record. Uh, Petrov's broken the t a clean sheets record with 24 in all competitions. Kostov has broke the man of the match record. Uh, Malinov's bro <laughs> excuse me, Malinov has uh, broke the worst discipline record. Not one that we really want to be broken. Radoslav is uh, the uh, club's all-time top goal scorer in the league with 124 goals and uh, the highest fee we've ever paid of 2 million. That's the transfer record broken as well and obviously history in the making uh, it's basically like this most seasons now but um, to sum it up it's been an unbelievable season. And so we'll just go through the last few bits, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Crisado Howes, Cullen for an unbeaten season. Uh, some players have been inducted into our overall best 11s. Feel free to pause at any time and, you know, take a bit of an in-depth look and read all of this. I tend to skip over it because I see it every single season. Uh, Latex's best 11. Because where other players to feature in that side, where are they now? Most of them are probably retired, I would imagine. Um... Latex, uh, Lovett side of 2021, um, Club Vision, um, develop young players, it's all about the same, isn't it? Uh, develop the best youth system in the country. Now, that is an interesting one, isn't it? Um, yeah, I like the look of that. Win the FBET League. Um, and yeah, just basically continue on. We'll accept that because, you know, it's all it's all hunky-dory. That's what we like to see. Um, and I'll do the team meeting in a moment. Um, we had a few injury problems this season. Training camp's already been uh, confirmed. And uh, last game of the season, we got a 1-0 win, ladies and gents. It was nothing too exciting. Uh, if I take you over to the uh, competition screens... You'll see, this is what I said, 28 wins, 3 draws, 87 points. Um, I believe that's the most points ever in a league season in Bulgaria. So I'm happy with that. We're gonna, we continue to break records, basically, season on season. But uh, the thing I want to do at the moment, I want to go over to the squad, and I want to talk to you about a couple of players that potentially are not going to be here, but I think have reached legendary status where the series is concerned. Um, and so I think we have to give them a bit of a nod uh, and let you know what's going to happen. So um, the first one is that of Oleg Dmitriov. He's he's asked for a new challenge, basically. Um he didn't play a lot of football this season, as you can see. Three appearances, uh, well, if we're talking about starts, he started four games in all competitions, came off the bench 12 times. Um, and really, at this point in his career, he's 31 years of age, he probably wants to be playing a bit more regularly. He came to me, asked for a new challenge, and I've and I've let him have it, basically. Uh, we currently have a bid in for him for 425k. I know it's a bit less than what he's worth, but you know, he, he's been here, he's been here since the start. And um, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stand in his way. He's been an incredible player for us. Uh, he really, really has. You know, he's been playing he, you know, the first few seasons, played 30 odd games uh in, in those years, and then it did tail off a bit as we started to get better players that are a bit younger and whatnot. But I think he's been an incredible asset to the team. So we wish him well. He's probably going to be gone. Um, and the other one, which might surprise you, is Radoslav um, Zhivkov has asked for a move. Um, I, I think this goes hand in hand with the fact that we bought Kostov in, who has done unbelievable in his debut season. Zhivkov just tailed off at the end of last year. He hasn't done it this year really either. He has scored goals, like he's scored goals, he's, he, he has done it when I've given him a chance, but he's not going to play regularly and I think that's what he wants. So I've agreed to sell Zhivkov. It is the end of an era because Zhivkov has been the player of the series, in my opinion. Um, you know, we we took the club on in this year, 26 goals. First year in the uh, FBET 10. Then it was 19, 21, 22, 17. That's his league seasons. But overall, he's been smashing it. There was one season in particular... Um, 
Oh, I've got 37 goals in that year. 37 goals. And he has smashed it. And this year, he's had 12 games in the league. Eight goals, two man of the matches. He's been very good. But he wants to go. And I'm gutted. I am going to be gutted. I am gutted. I'm going to be honest. Because I think he would be a great bench player. But he's 28. And I understand he probably wants to play a bit more regularly. So I'd imagine that Zhipkov will be gone as well. And then there's lots of other players that I'm probably going to think about moving on. You know, some of these players that have been loaned out. I don't think they're going to do it like... Mitov, as much as I've tried to develop this player, I just don't think he's going to reach the levels of, say, D'Alessandro, who is unreal, let's be honest. So, um, yeah, we've got some thinking to do in the summer, and I need to be bringing in some very, very good players, basically. So, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at. I don't know what the transfer budget is going to be like yet. Um, I might move this on. And have a look and see what it's going to be. But uh, but yeah, uh, that's basically where we're at, ladies and gents. It's been another phenomenal season, in my opinion. It really, really has. We've got £38 million in the bank. I'm really happy about that. I'm hoping that the budget's going to be pretty decent. And we'll go from there, basically. Well, the budget's decent. The budget's very, very good. And so there you have it, my friends. We've ended on that little bombshell. £25 million in transfer budget. Now, I'm, I'm going to throw it out there now. Just because we've got £25 million, don't mean we can go and spend it all. Because remember, there's only £40 million in the bank. So that would halve the amount of money that the club's got. We're still going to have to be pretty clever about the money that we spend. But that is an amazing amount of money that the board has given us. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty incredible. I'm going to throw that out there. I should say, by the way, um, that we have a new board in place. Um, it's it it kind of like um, it weren't really like a buyout. I think it just changed the president at the club. But this new president clearly seems as though he wants to push the club forward by giving us a bit more of a budget and trying to help us basically. But uh, that is the end of another season of Project Black Sea. I really hope you've enjoyed it, my friends. I've enjoyed it. It's been a top top season. We we crack on with a brand new one next time. I hope you'll be there to join me. And I hope, I really hope, we've got some quality new signings to help us compete. Potentially, if we get to that Champions League group stage again. But until then, my friends, if you are new to the channel, please continue hitting that subscribe button. It's really appreciated by me. Um, drop a like on the video. The more you do that, the more chance I've got of uh, finding my way into suggested videos and things like that, my friends. But uh, you'll find loads of information in the uh, box below, the description box below, Discord, Twitter, all that stuff i'm really really active so be sure to go and check it out but until next time salute you all my friends you stay safe you stay humble and i'll see you in the next one